Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. To understand the migration characteristics of x-rays, one only has to look at light to compare. X-rays are identical with light's travel patterns. Light diverges from its source and travels in straight lines. Some may feel that this statement contradicts itself. How can a light ray travel in a straight line and yet get wider as it travels? How is it that when you shine a light on the wall that the light is highly concentrated in the center but becomes less bright as you look at the periphery? This definitely indicates that the light diverges from the source, but how is it that it is traveling in straight lines? To start, we must look at the makeup of x-rays. This includes photons that are packed in one solid stream that is ejected from the x-ray camera. These photons are so minuscule that they immediately interact with the atoms in the air, diminishing in number with every inch of travel. X-rays and light create the illusion of one photon that broadens its reach as it travels when in fact it is comprised of billions of photons that are traveling in the same general direction, but many stray from an exact target. A laser can be pointed to a central target, but X-rays cannot be focused in such a refined manner. So in keeping with Wilhelm Conrad Rinkin's properties of X-rays, X-rays do travel in straight lines and diverge from the center due to the sheer number of photons that are in a single stream. It is not dissimilar from throwing a handful of marbles in one direction. They all travel in the same direction, but each marble has its own trajectorial path. X-rays are vastly heterogeneous energy, whereas each individual photon travels in a straight line in its own direction with its own energy, creating a predestination of absorption, deflection, or terminal dissipation. Because these x-rays are so interactive during their dispersed onslaughts, they weaken exponentially through their travel, and thus their existence is over as soon as they start. That concludes our segment on Do X-rays Travel in Straight Lines? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember... Mark my word and mark your films.